Alrighty, let's take a look at question number two. In question two, we're going to be assessed on how to calculate a percent of the whole. Okay. All right. So um, let's see what we have here. Question number two reads, it says, um, use a computer. I mean, I'm sorry, use the table below to answer the question that follows. The four computer labs in Boise High School were examined by the tech department to see which computers needed to be updated. Show in the table above, um, shown in the table above are the computer lab numbers, numbers of computers that needs updates, and the total number of computers. What percent of computers in Boise High School computer labs needs to be updated? All right, so we want to find the computers that need to be updated expressed as a percentage um, of the entire number of computers in the school. Okay, so let's go ahead and write down the formula that uh, will guide our problem solving process. So the formula for calculating um, part of a whole, formula for percent of whole, is given by um, percent of the part that you want to find with respect to the whole is um, the part that you desire divided by the whole. So that gives you the fraction of a whole, okay, in, in fraction form. If you divide it out, it gives you the, fraction, the part of the whole in decimal form. But when you multiply it by 100, that converts that fraction into percent form. Okay, remember if you're going from decimal to um, percent or fraction to percent, you just multiply by 100. That's what this is. All right, so let's go ahead and ad adapt this formula to this particular problem. Okay, so in this particular problem, we're looking for percent um, that needs updated. Now, uh, that needs updating, okay? Percent that needs um, to be updated, or let's just say percent that needs updating. If we want to ex express that as um, it, as a percent form, it's going to be the part that we desire, which is basically the number of computers that need to be updated. So number that needs. Uh, to be updated. This is the part, and we're going to divide it by the whole. So what is the whole in this um, scenario? The whole basically represents the total number of computers. Okay, so we're going to divide the number of computers that needs to be updated by the total number of computers. Now this will give us the fraction of computers that needs to be updated. To convert that to percent, we'll just multiply our answer by 100, okay? All right, so let's find the two missing pieces in this equation, um, and then we can go ahead and solve it. We just need to find the number of computers that need to be updated and the total number of um, computers, okay? So to find a number that needs to be updated, number that needs to be updated, all we just do is find the sum of these numbers in the middle column right here, okay? So it's going to be 13 plus 30 plus 15 plus 17, okay? 7 plus 3 is 10 plus 5, that's 15. 5 carry 1, 1, 2, 2 plus 3 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7. Seven. Okay, so the number of computers that needs to be updated is 75 and then we also need the uh, the total number of computers Okay, so total number of computers uh, What are the total number of computers here? The total number of computers is 30 plus 40 plus 20 plus 60 Okay, if we find a sum We have 6 plus 4 is 10 plus uh, 5, that's 15. So there are 150 computers in all. So let's go ahead and plug in these two values into our formula. The numbers that needs to be updated is 75 divided by the total number of computers, which is 150. And then we'll multiply that by 100 to convert it to percent form. 
All right, let's go ahead and do this. Now, if you notice, 75 is a multiple of 150. 75 times 2 is 150. So we can divide this by 75. That gives you 1. And divide 150 by 75. That gives you 2. And 2 goes into 100 because 100 is even. So 2 goes into itself. 1, 2 goes into 100 50 times. And your answer is... 50%. Okay, so 50% of the total number of computers in Boise High School needs to be updated. All right, so the answer to question number two is option letter E. Contents of this tutorial helpful in your preparation for the CBEST test. Do give us a thumbs up or like. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel. We're going to be updating it with tons of math tutorials. So subscribe so you can stay in the loop. If you want to gain access to the entire review series and all the great math resources, just visit our website at mathgutserve.com. If you have any questions or comments, just put it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to support you. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.